everyone, I'm back, and who remembers Inside Out? When looking at the five islands from Riley's head that represents her, I was wondering, what are our islands inside our head? What those islands made us, us? So, I'm gonna show you guys five of my greatest memories from childhood that made me into the person I am today. And trust me, it is one interesting childhood. Oh wow, I can't wait to tell you my first memory. So number one, before I knew that there was a team of animators who create cartoons, I thought that cartoons were from an alternate universe who wants to entertain us from our little TV. So here's what I did, folks. I went to the kitchen, grabbed a screwdriver when Kids Next Door was on. I tried to open the TV, but just in time. My caretaker, who I like to call my auntie, saw what I'm doing and took the screwdriver away. Thank God for her because I'm sure I would get electrocuted or the house would be on fire. I was a bit bummed that day, but today I'm grateful that she stopped me in time. Number two. As a kid, my mom wanted me to try anything. I tried sewing lessons, didn't work out, lost interest. Same thing with guitar lessons. I did try a theater class, but I stopped it because the instructor was not there anymore. But she took me to this awesome baking class and I was so hooked on it. She dropped me off every Saturday and it was in this little cottage. It was all pink with tiny little ovens and the teacher was so nice. We tried all these little recipes that were great for breakfast or for snacks. And the greatest memory I had from the baking class is that I had it as a theme for my 11th birthday. Sonia, Mumbai, Nina, Ines, I had a great time. I hope you did too. We did some icing, we ate some icing, we mixed it with the food coloring and all. It was a really fun time. And so, I really love baking. I know how to make a chocolate fondant. <laughs> Number three. Before I ever knew there was Kiss Cartoon or Kiss Anime or Watch Cartoon Online, I always rely on YouTube to watch new episodes of my favorite series. But when there is no episodes that I like, I decided to take it on my own hands, grab my video camera, and record all the episodes while it was airing on TV. And I would always tell my little brother, who was only one, to move away. I was like, oh, bro, I'm recording, no! <laughs> yeah, that was the time when I was recording Kung Fu. I really loved that show. I shipped Rabbit and Fox to the max. And when I was done recording, I put in my iTunes and I watch it on my iPad. In addition, I made my own AMVs. I never posted them on YouTube, but it was just for fun. It was thanks to that that I got my editing skills from. Number four. Every Saturday when I had nothing to do, my mom took me to this mall near our house and we rented some movies. And I mostly rented Barbie movies. Yes, I rented Barbie movies. Sue me! I was a real girly girl that time until high school, but I really loved Barbie movies. Let's just say that Barbie was my favorite. I mean, she is a CGI actress, right? And while I owned all the fantasy Barbie movies such as Fairytopia, Mermaidia, or The Twelve Princesses in Swan Lake, I mostly rented Barbie when she was in the modern era, like Barbie Fairy Secret or Barbie Mermaid Tale. But it is thanks to her that she gave me the encouragement to be who I want to be. If it wasn't for her, I wouldn't be an animator. Like the slogan says, you can be anything. And well, I did watch the movies last weekend on Netflix for old time's sake and the new movies that I have been missing out and I'm glad that my girl Barb's is doing well inspiring girls around the world so kudos to you Barbie Last but certainly not least Who remembers Sonic in the Archie comics? I remember that I saw one of those panels on YouTube in AMV and I was interested to know what is the full story especially with Fiona Fox I remember that my first issue was around 170 during the Fiona betrayal and I was hooked on it. I mean, it was nothing compared to the Sonic the Hedgehog Saturday AM show or Sonic Underground or even Sonic X. Sonic and Sally had an on and off relationship, their evil counterparts, it was insane. But it was thanks to that that it gave me a little inspiration to create my own stories full of love, angst, plot twists, cliffhangers, because really? I was so hooked on these stories that I begged my mom that every time I get a good grade, she would buy me a new comic. 
And I did. I stopped reading them during their Genesis reboot art. I mean, I do understand the reboot, but it's nothing compared to how I read the Sonic comics before. So what are your 5 greatest childhood memories? Put the comments down below and let me know. So give me a thumbs up that you had one of those crazy memories. Give me a thumbs up that you have been thinking about your 5 islands from your head. And subscribe to more of my videos where there's life, positivity, and anime. See you guys. Bye.